So then I woke up today, the amount of fucking abuse I'm getting on Twitter. Gredo, you're disappointing. Did you see Chris Renfrew's promo? I I seen it. I knew it was coming. He told me a week in advance. He says, I'm going to cut a promo. Here. Bring it on me, I don't care. I'm going to be in America. Where I'm living the dream, mate. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be totally, completely honest. When I get on that plane and I fly for Stevenson, and I get to share the locker room backstage with all these wee daft legends that I watched as I win, and I get to go outside and perform in front of these arenas. I went out last week and, la and fought in live pay per view, man. And do you know what the funny thing is? See, when I go to the ring, they were only chanting "Gredo, Gredo" or "It's Yourself." They chanted "I see Dub, I see Dub, I see Dub," and that makes me fucking proud, man. That's like fans holding up a St Andrews flag or something like that. You know what I mean? Everywhere I go, everywhere I go, I always promote ICW. I always try and get us as much exposure as possible. Any television interviews, any magazine interviews, even fucking soaps, soaps, man. I always mention ICW. I love the place. Last year, I had nine, nine dates in America and I told the company, I said, look, I need to leave after the second day because I need to get back to ICW. I can't miss it. I've got a match with Bram. Well, do you know what? During the two nights that I was in America, I suffered a concussion and the doctor says, don't, don't travel. Don't travel. You're too fucked and whatever you do, don't wrestle for months. What did I do? I got on that plane and I flew back to Glasgow. Wrestled Bram, threw myself 25 feet off a fucking balcony and suffered another concussion. Blood pissing out my nose. And that's when I chastened challenge Duke Drew Galloway. Look at me, I'm fucking getting mad now. Holy shit! Every point I get, I always promote ICW. I'm telling you right here and now, Chris Redford, if you ever, ever get the opportunity to travel the world, make a bit of money, and give ICW a bit of exposure, you better fucking take it, boy. But unfortunately, you only wrestle when you can get a fucking mega bus day. Fucking Kalil. I'm fucking slugging my guts out all the world. I've had to fucking pull out of so many other shows to make ICW. I've had to pull out Switzerland. I've had to pull out other fucking... Fuck! Other places. I don't know where to fucking make these shows. I remember being in a fucking plane at Gatwick Airport. And my fucking leotard, my boots, everybody looking at me like I was a fucking idiot. Because I was flying up to make Michelle McManus sing me to the ring. Because I had a booking during the day and I says, you know what? Put me on first because I can't miss this ICW show. But I miss one fucking date for ICW. And then this cunt's losing the fucking plot. It's not that with fucking Kaylee Ray. It's in Japan, huh? That doesn't get mentioned there. Well, she's fucking doing well for herself. At the end of the day, Chris Renfrew, this is about two fucking things. I'm a fat guy with shitloads of fucking charisma that's getting to travel the world, making a bit of money. You're a fat guy with bags of charisma and you're working for one company and it fucking eats you alive. You're struggling to pay your fucking rent because you know what you need to make money? You need to steal stuff like my cat's phrase. Oh, you remember that? Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Maybe you started making a wee bit of money out of that, day. Hey, my fucking shit, my fucking shit, eh? You're a fucking dafty, you're a fucking idiot. As I says, take that opportunity whenever you get it, but I'll tell you what, I've showed that promo to some of the boys in America and they didn't know who the fuck you were. It's yourself!